What's up guys, it's Drollcowmania here today, and today we're here with another interior tutorial, and this episode we're going to be doing a bathroom. So this is the space we got for the bathroom, and as you notice, I have glowstone laid out in uh, strategic spots, and you'll see how that works out later. But uh, the blocks we're going to be using today are sandstone slabs, sandstone water buckets, cauldrons and porta frames, eye vendor, stone brick stairs, um, glass pane, pressure pl wood pressure plates, trap doors, chest, fence gates, no um, enchantment table, sugar cane, sand, and birch wood stairs. And actually one more that I forgot to add is uh, stone brick slabs, which I'll just put in my inventory. Alright guys, well let's get started. Uh, first off, let me just put down the cauldrons. This is going to be uh, where like the sinks are. And also let me do this real quick. You know what, I think I, I actually forgot another block. Jungle wood leaves. How could I forget those? Uh, Alright, so these, as you're going to see, this is uh, that's going to let the light in. Um, so, uh, it, uh, like, you had some nice lighting without the, uh, actually seeing the glowstone. So, uh, I don't need these anymore, so I'm gonna add the jungle leaves in now. And now we got some nice bushes in the front. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, take the sandstone, build it up like this. And then on top like this. And this is going to be like a little barrier for where the toilet is. Oops, don't want to do that. That's going to be like a barrier for where the toilet is. And um, let me just replace the birchwood. Oh, by the way, I used birchwood planks uh, for the floor and junglewood planks for the ceiling. But as I was saying, this is going to be a little uh, divided area for the um, toilet. And this toilet design is a pretty cool toilet design. I got from a friend of mine. That would be uh, Zach. And so this, this is actually a pretty realistic toilet. It's really cool. Um, I really like this design. And... You'll, you'll see, it's it's a really awesome design. Where's my glowstone? Could have swore I got some out. Um, what do we not need right now? Uh, we don't need the water right now. All right, we'll put the glowstone there. Um, now let's go to this part. This is going to be like a um, counter area for the sinks. Come on. Alright, that works. Um, and then... One more right here. So that makes it uh, look pretty nice. There we go. Alright, so we got a counter area. Then what we'll do is uh, we'll add a little more, uh, like a, another kind of counter above where you could store some things maybe. And for that, I think we're basically done. Let me see what else. What am I? Oh, on the toilet, I forgot to put the uh, toilet seat. As you can see, this is a pretty nice toilet design. It's really unique. Um... Now I just need to put this here. So when you use the bathroom, you have something to read, of course. Can't go without something to read when you're using the bathroom. Or can you? That's really up to you. Um, let's get the fence gate. Is that rain coming through the ceiling? I hate when that happens. I think it is. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, that's an annoying glitch. Uh, I wish that wasn't in creative. 
And as you can see, we're putting some shelves here, and we're going to do the same right here as well. Oops, not. Um, and we'll put shelves like this. Really simple yet elegant shelf design. Really like that design. Um, what else are we forgetting? Oh, okay. Uh, we'll put. I'm going to put a uh, rug right in front of the counter for when you brush your teeth, so you're standing, not standing on a cold floor. Even, but this is my mansion, so of course we'd have heated floors, but the rug's just for decoration then. Um, oh, I got rid of the water, didn't I? Here, yeah, let's uh, put the water in. The cauldrons, make it look all nice. Oh, that's something I forgot to take into consideration. Gotta get rid of that. Um, yeah, we, I forgot that Um, we can't have the glowstone right there. So no glowstone underneath the cauldrons if you want to have the rug design, that is. Uh, it might make it a little darker, but still, it's it's still pretty light in here, so it's no big deal. Um, now right here, we're just going to do a simple um, design with the chest. We're going to bring these up like that. And that makes a nice little design. And in the closet, we already have a design with chests. We have glowstone above them, two double chests, and then a door. I forgot to get rid of that. Um, and then right up here, the glowstone, you can make it work like both ways so it shines onto the room. So I put a window kind of thing. So that allows it to shine out in the room. Um, now let's get to the interesting part. Let's get to the shower now. You know, let's clear what I don't need out. I'm just going to need this. I'll need water. Wood pressure plates. Glass. I think that's all I need. As you can see, um, what I did here was I like made corner stairs and brought it down to a half slab floor. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to make a shower design. So you just surround that by stairs, and then you go like this with the glass. And this makes this makes a really nice shower design. There won't be any bathtubs in this bathroom. Um, just a just a shower, and that's it. And then up here, uh, I forgot one block we need. Uh, there we go. For the shower, we just go like that. As you can see, the glowstone helps it light up the room. And actually, could put glowstone right here as well, which will help light up the room a little more even. And now the ba bathroom is pretty much finished. Um, I just I want to make sure we're not forgetting anything. We got the sha oh oh the sugar cane. So right here, um, you have to. For this to work, you need to um, have water underneath. So I just put it underneath the wall. And you put sand. Or I think you could put dirt too, I think, but I don't like dirt. And the sand goes with the um, floor. And there you have a sugarcane design. So that's pretty nice. But um, I think that's about it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys uh, liked and enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you'll leave a like on it. Um, I hope I'm not, not forgetting anything. You can um, add some decorations up here if you uh, want to make it pop out a little more. It's easy to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'll link the previous interior tutorials in the description. And um, I hope... Um, <laughs> Whoops, I'm getting flustered right now. Uh, but Joel come eh, I'm still getting flustered. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, this is Joel Kyle Mania from Creepcraft signing out.